Anyone who has experienced that first rush of new love knows how intoxicating it can actually be. But for some, that feeling becomes a high they simply can't stop chasing. Hollywood is no stranger to the struggles of addiction. Tales of alcohol and drug abuse have always made headlines. But more recently, stars like Jada Pinkett Smith, NFL football player like Mike Hawson, and former Spice Girl Mel B have spoken candidly of their struggles with sex addiction. Once a vice too taboo to reveal, sex addiction is making its way out of the shadows. Actress Breanne Davis, who you know from performances in movies like Jarhead and the popular TV shows Dawson Creek, Six, and most recently the hit show Lucifer, now going public with her own battle with sex and love addiction. By looking at me, one would think I have it all together. I have a Hollywood career. But underneath, I was hiding this deep, dark secret. I am a sex and love addict. Sex and love addiction, it's a drug. You're addicted to somebody else. You're addicted to a person. We flirt, we cheat, and it all stems from low self-esteem, fear of abandonment, fear of intimacy. This addiction started when I was very, very young. I had a boyfriend at 12, and there was this other little boy that liked me and we were at a party and he kissed me in the closet behind my boyfriend's back. It was like a shot of heroin. I felt this power and control. That is a high I've been chasing my entire life. I would have a boyfriend. After a year and a half, the butterflies would be gone and I would find myself intriguing outside of my relationship. I would reach out to a guy friend and have him take me out and I would flirt or I would find myself on location flirting with my co-stars and being inappropriate and it just got worse and worse and worse. Most of the time I would juggle these three or four guys at one time. The gentlemen didn't know about each other and thinking I was their exclusive girlfriend. I was never fully committed to one relationship. And I had this thought, am I going to be doing this the rest of my life just because I feel so alone? And that's when I realized I needed help. And I went to a therapist and the first thing she told me was, you're a sex and love addict. So I have been sober and sex and love addicts anonymous for 11 years. I can't even tell you how beautiful my life is that now I'm married to a man I love, that I have a child. So if you're struggling, you are not alone. There is a way out of the darkness. You do not have to go back to something that was deadly for you.